So we're entering into pretty much close to the third year of COVID. I take my mask off here. And I'm doing my Tabata in the basement uh, or the garage of my condo facility here. So uh, Tabata has been really helpful during COVID because uh, when I have to isolate or move indoors, even bad weather, we just had a big snowstorm here in Cambridge, Massachusetts. We had uh, close to two feet. And uh, I can come into this basement space and just do my Tabata here. It's a little different in this space. <coughs> uh, the floor is pretty hard, cement floor, so I'm going to really actually take it uh, or do a less uh, aggressive Tabata so it's not so um, in or the impact or low impact uh, Tabata form. So Tabata is great because you can do all sorts of variations to it. It's very dynamic. Unlike other exercises where you're just running or you're jumping rope, uh, Tabata is all about uh, a lot of functional movement. So I find it helps me in my everyday life. Starting Tabata, or before I did Tabata, even though I was in pretty good shape doing other types of exercises, I used to take the four, uh, four <laughs> come in here for all my groceries and go up four flights several times with the groceries, I'd be exhausted. After uh, Tabata, I seem to really manage that quite well. My respiratory system is not taxed at all. And uh, I would look up Tabata, you can see it was developed in Japan for the speed skaters. Uh, they need that burst of energy. But Tabata is, you know, your body's moving all sorts of directions and uh, in different ways, but I think that it mimics a lot of things that we do in life, you know, walking, running, climbing, twisting, reaching. So it's really effective. So anyways, I want you to join me in this uh, session. I do four segments. So four, eight, so each segment has eight, you know, it's about eight exercises. You do it 20 seconds of intensity, and then you have 10 seconds rest. Uh, I guess I cheat a little bit. I'm not going at complete intensity for those 20 seconds. I go probably about three quarters. Uh, and down here in this basement, I probably do a little less. Uh, but you can join me on this. Uh, we do four sessions. Uh, there's a little variation in there, but you can follow me. I actually use this piece of cardboard because this floor is so dirty and it's going to make a lot of noise going through the gravel on this thing. But if you, uh, you know, you're not in a sliding situation, you can just uh, crawl on your hands and uh, on your feet there. So we're going to start. I'm going to turn on the music now. Uh, easy to find all these Tabata music uh, on Spotify. And you put the board down. I'm going to talk through it too, tell you what I'm doing so you can follow. But definitely follow me. I can use this every day for your exercise in your apartment, in your house, in your basement, outside in your patio. And it's going to be, uh, I think this is, what I do here is very back friendly too. So if you have low L4, L5 issues, uh, this will be very good for you, but just have to maintain good posture. And uh, it's something any age can do. I, I'd advise stretching. I do various stretches. I do arm stretches. and. I do squatting and I, you know, just kind of limber up before you do this, but uh, you know that. So we'll start here. Okay. okay. Four, Four songs. songs. Four sessions. First one is, it's going to look easy, but basically it's just waving your arms like this. And I'm not coming down too hard on my on my knees here. It's, it's, you think it's easy, but if you do this for about 60 seconds, your respiratory system is going to be taxed. The next one is just kind of like a form of jumping jack. And you'll notice you want to get a nice curve in your back. Just 
more about form than speed for on this, I think, and also getting low. Great. Now we'll do like these squat steps. It doesn't look hard, but you'll feel it if you do it correctly in your uh, quadriceps. And I reach, like I'm reaching for something, so very functional based. Reaching. Reach. Reach. Next is a speed skating. And this is that, that, that motion in honor of the Japanese speed skaters. When I'm outside, actually, I will actually move forward or backward. It's all about that motion. Now I go to the ground. It's going to be annoying. I have to edit this noise out. And now these little kind of squat jumps. You see my arms go forward and then back. Kind of forward and back and then jump. Forward, back, good posture. Jump, squat. Never put your knees over your feet, over your toes. It's a sign that you're gonna stress up your knee joints. You wanna bend in that hip area. And okay, now, we gotta do mountain climbers. When you're doing some of these exercises, you can also focus on other parts of your body. Like right now, I'm tensing my abdomen. And a lot of these exercises like the next one, the squats. You could be tensing other muscles like my arms and forearms, even though the most of the work is being done by the hips and quadriceps. That's, that's one set, we have three to go. So th hang in there. You can definitely do it. Just pace yourself. This is that jumping. Like I said before, when I'm jumping, I actually am thinking about my stomach muscles. I'm tightening them as I do each jump. There. And back to those jumping jacks. Again, good posture. Knees don't go over the toes. You just bend your hips back. See, bend your hip. Get your hip back. Hips down. Hips and butt down. Your knees are not doing the work. You're feeling it in the quadriceps. Now the, the stretch, stretch steps. Again, that back leg, you gotta go, let it go really low, and you're gonna feel it up here. It's a good stretch, and you should be reaching out like you're trying to grab something. Good for rock climbing. One thing I wanna do is uh, do some scrambling, just climbing rocks without any gear, and that helps for that. Speed skater. So yeah, I'm looking forward to that in the warmer weather. Hit into some scrambling 
rock face to go up. I've always liked that. It's, uh, it's like I, I try to do as fast as I can. It's interesting to do. Oh, back in the sledding here. I'm already breathing pretty hard. I do like crab, they call it crabbing, your hands and legs. And this is that jumping around. So I'm making an arc, a circle with my arms basically. And then goes to the top and then resets and goes back around. If you can do that, it just, I allow this little, allows for a, a little pause to get your posture correct. Back to the mountain climber. The side view of that. Try to keep that back straight. And just pump those knees. Again, think about your abdomen. And it really kind of squeeze those abdomen, abdomen muscles. Yeah, I think all these will help me in my rock scrambling. I'm going to do this. I remember seeing my dad do this. He'd come home from work and he had this book of exercises from the Royal Canadian Air Force, RCAF. And he'd come home before dinner and just in his bedroom he would be doing these exercises, different ones. I guess he was into Tabata early. Ah, that was two sets. That's good. Set three, folks. Again, jumping, it looks easy, but it's good. I think you're getting your circulation going. You're getting lots of movement here. Good posture. You're not bending forward. You're keeping straight. Okay, that's good. Now we're gonna do those fancy jumping jacks. Good posture, remember. Knees do not bend over the toes. And when I'm outside, I actually can go forward like this. Or I can go backward. So you can do that when you're outside. I don't do that here because of the cement. I don't like the impact on the cement. We'll do the, the stretch again. That helped me my rock scrambling. Reaching out. I'm reaching out for that next handhold when I'm ascending those the rock face. And you feel it definitely in your in your thighs for quadriceps. Back to the ski speed skating. It's a good motion actually. Just try to keep your back straight. Or, you know, you are bending over slightly, but I'm trying to keep an arch in my lower back for you L4, L5 sufferers. You can speed this. I'm not really coming down so impactfully on the ground. That's a word. Back to the, I'll call it the sled. And those jumps, arms back, and a nice circle, back, nice circle, back, good posture, 
Back, good circle. Back, good circle. Again, it's not so speedy, and this is more good posture and good form. Okay, we're going to do the mountain climbers, I think they're called. Yep, my stomach gets actually the workout here versus my legs and arms. Now back to the Royal Canadian Air Force exercise in honor of my dad. He was, he was a parachuter in World War II with the 6th British Airborne. Those guys are tough. And he tried to maintain his health throughout his years. That was three down. Just one quick one left. If you're still with me, good job. And here we go. Ah, I actually, if I had to do this for more than 20 seconds, I'd hate it, <laughs> believe it or not. I guess we will call these windmills. And back to our beloved squat jumping jack. Here we go. I'll rotate so you can see it a better angle. Form. Oh, then the deep step for my rock scrambling. Reach and low, low and reach. Really stretching that body out. Something you normally don't do at the office. But you, you might be reaching for some books on the bookshelf or a rung of a ladder. Yeah, how do you apply these exercises to everyday life is kind of interesting. I'm not sure about the speed skater. Maybe when I'm dancing, swing dancing, I can apply this. I'll be ready for it. Or running after a bus. Or skating. That's why it's called speed skating, I guess. So this covers a few different practical motions in life. Back to our sled. Okay. Finish that off with our Our jump, full circle, up, do it again, cock it up, go back, and then release, up, back, release, up, back, release, up, back, release, up, back, release, up, back. A lot of these exercises really develop or get your quadriceps in shape. That's why going those four flights of stairs, I don't really feel it anymore. Okay. Sorry, I'm a little behind. I was thinking of that. This is our... Again, the last two exercises here are these uh, mountain climbers. And we're gonna do that again. I'll do it from a different angle. Oh, the stomach.
Wow, that's it, my friends. We did it. Four units of Tabata. Uh, you did well if you, you hung in there with me. And you can see I'm, I'm winded. I consider myself in pretty good shape. Most of my life, I've always done something. I did lots of sports growing up and in university. Uh, but I always found physical fitness very important. I was one of those people who believed in being fit to play a sport versus playing a sport to be fit. And I truly believe in that philosophy. <sighs> Catch my breath. So in a couple of months, I'm turning age uh, 65. And the last hmm, three years I've been doing this Tabata quite a bit. I find that uh, actually I usually go to a gym, but because of COVID, I haven't really been able to or been inclined to go. I do say though at a gym, they give you lots of objects to use like weighted balls, bars, ropes, stationary bikes. So you can jump from one to another. You know, you can substitute any kind of exercise. It's, a, it's really important to vary it. Uh, I sometimes do the same exercise exercises for too long. You know, I, I really need to change them up more frequently. Uh, that's uh, something I have to work on. But when I go to the gym, it's a whole new ball game because I do have all those tools available for me. And I typically like to go outside, even in the winter. There's a soccer field close by. It's artificial turf, so it's nice and soft. And I can really jump around on that and not worry about uh, too much impact on my knees or the rest of my body. But even if it's cold, I'll go out there, even in the 20s, if it's not too windy or has sun out to warm you up. But typically, I'm, I'm out there. I like being outside or the gym. But now, with all the snow we have here in, uh, in Cambridge, I, I just decided to go indoors. And I'll show you this gym, my gym here, you can see. There she blows, all the cars there. <laughs> so you can do it anywhere. That's a great thing about Tabata. You can do it in your hotel room, in your office. There's a friend of mine who works at Trader Joe's, and he actually does it at the cash register waiting for customers, and uh, which can look ridiculous sometimes, but he's doing things that don't um, really bring too much attention. So that's the beauty of uh, Tabata. You can do it anywhere. You vary it up, you get a good workout, and you do it every day. It's something you can do every day, I think. And it's, what, 20-something minutes when you do four sets. And you can start with one set every day and build up to two and three and four and even more. I find some people, when they get into exercise programs, you know, and they have some pretty high goals, high aspirations which is great, but it's hard to achieve every, on a daily basis. I think it's more important to do something every day than to go all out on a, a long run and then you need a few days to recover from that. And then you do something like that again. I, I think it's nice to have something every day to build into your lifestyle as convenient as possible. So that's it. Thanks for hanging out with me in this Tabata session. You know, just play this again if you want to do it you know, follow this. I'll, I think I might try to produce other ones, uh, low production uh, qu uh, quality here. Uh, but uh, I think it'd be helpful. And I'll do it outside. Maybe I'll do it in the gym, show you guys how I do it there. But um, thanks for checking it out. And, uh, you know, hopefully we'll see the end of our COVID, uh, COVID life and uh, things will go back to as normal as possible pretty soon. Okay, cheers everyone. Thanks for hanging out with me.